guess what today's episode is about? Flex on. Time to have sex on. <laughs> I we mean, talking about sex. sex. Smashing. Boning. Hunching. Hunching. Ooh, smacking the thighs. Getting Making it in. love. Making love. Uh, uh, digging on me. Digging, digging on you. Dig. Okay, so first of all, this is PG-13. Don't be sitting there watching this with your kids. Mm-mm. Not saying we're going to get nasty, but we are talking about sex. Yes, we are. Second of all, Asher is married. I am not. If you have a problem with that, go to the next episode. That will be episode 13 because okay. this is 12. Mm-hmm. This and we're talking about sex on 12. Today, we are talking about sex from mm-hmm. two different perspectives. The married the perspective. The married perspective and the sex. Not married, which is still considered single. I'm not single, but technically, lawfully, yeah, they'll say the single. single perspective, right? So, guys, y'all know what Ashley said. What do you want to talk about next? I was like, Six. <laughs> I was ready. It seems like it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You Don't, know what? We can't sing his song. It's we so love hard. him. Every time we say sex, we still him. love him, but we praying for him. I don't. You don't love. Okay, I'm. Well, I'm praying for him because. He, you know, I'm praying for him, him, but I'm one of those people I deleted everything. Okay, I can't lie and say I did that, but I'm gonna go okay. right <laughs> um, Okay, so 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 we are talking like we said before. We are talking about it from two different perspectives. Right, we're gonna give a little. How did you fit? How does it? Ooh. Okay, but I'm gonna say first of all, we all have these hormones mm-hmm. that that that's what pushes for sex to happen. Desires. Right, okay. for sexual desires. So I'm gonna read up something that I. Mm-hmm. came across and it says what are hormones Ooh. it says hormones are natural substances produced in the body mm-hmm. they help to relay messages Ooh. between cells and organs that affect many bodily functions why are you reading like everyone everyone has what are considered male and female Sex <laughs> hormones. Guys, why is Asher reading that like that? Because when we're talking about sex, <laughs> you know, you gotta just. Are you gonna keep saying it like sex. that? Sex. Asher, stop it. I'm uncomfortable with this episode. Sex. sex. But she wanted to talk about this. I did. She I was the one Don't believe it. Don't believe it. Just watch. <laughs> okay. So, today, we're going to talk about it, like I said, about sex from two different perspectives. Right. Ashley's going to talk to you guys from the marital perspective, and I'm going to talk to you guys what is considered single perspective. Now, one thing I want to tell y'all in this, Ashley told me I could say it. If you are holier than now, a bible beaten person, please don't come for me. But, you know what? I'm going to say this. Them holier than thou bible beaten people they hunching too y'all hunching and um y'all might want to sit in because maybe that's why your 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 man might be not always looking in the bible (laughs) he might be looking somewhere else but anyways and he might not be looking at you because you too got your nose and everything in the bible got your nose in your everything everything in the bible Bible. so let's just be clear god created that too so he yeah. wanted us now to we enjoy know the it. word of God and we believe in the word of God. Yes, we, we know that sex is something for the married person. He wanted us but to I have some pleasure. He, I'm coming to you as a human being and I'm telling you that that's not how my life went. Sex was something I explored before I was married and I've never been married. So Yeah, and sex was something I explored before I was married and I am married. Oh. I've been married twice. Oh, so let's talk about this. Let's talk about how sex changed from when you were a single woman or just in a relationship to being a married woman. Um, well... When I was just smashing, <laughs> smashing and dashing, Ooh. sex for me was, it was okay. It was just something to do. It wasn't, you know, it was just like, okay, everybody was doing it. So let me, let me get in and on it, mm-hmm. you know? Um, and then I realized it wasn't all that. Like what people were talking about, it was like, oh, it was overrated. Mm, it was okay. Mm-hmm. And you know what? Every time I hear my mama song and she be talking about tonight is the night that you make me a woman and she was like, hot, yo, first time. Now, some of y'all like that line talking about your first time was good. I, my first time, it was, hmm, it was okay. But see, I didn't really know. I didn't, I don't know what to expect. Yeah. So what were your expectations for it to be really, really good or for it to not hurt? I guess it was just like environment. Did you feel okay? Did you feel I mean, like- I didn't feel like I was being raped or anything like that or, or somebody was taking advantage Sorry, of me yeah. like i just felt like oh this is something new like yeah. i'm really about to do this open another so play. and it was with somebody i really liked mm-hmm. but at you the didn't same love time, them though you weren't in love i mean i was in puppy love 
Okay. Yeah, I was in puppy love, but still, it was just still, I was young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was young trying to get it in, and I didn't even know where to <laughs> what put it in, and, and all of that kind of stuff. So it was all right. Mm -hmm. But um, I don't even want to talk about the first marriage with sex. I mean, my I have a beautiful daughter that came out of that, but I want to talk about this marriage with the with that. With the, <laughs> With the, <laughs> with the ooh. So with wait, the, I hear a lot of married people say that sex changes when you get to, when you get married. Is that I true? think that your expectation, um, I don't know if it changes because it's like it's the same person, but it's just like the emotions run a little bit higher, mm -hmm. and it's like just mine. Like you now, you taking like ownership and, of this, and, like and God approves of it, and God approves of it. It's like, oh Lord, I'm it. doing the right thing in your eyes, Lord, because you created this man for me. You created this thing for me. Oh, you Lord. know, so it's like, oh man, so it's just a did you see my one. eyes just light up like? This is a lie, because you already know Ash is very, what's going to happen <laughs> after this vlog. But, okay, so, I'm telling you, like, when you single, it's cool. I mean, you enjoy it. But when you marry and you got the keys to the to that thing, and you open up and you be like, oh, that's, that's all mine? That, that, that thing in the microwave, that's, that apple pie, all mine? <laughs> or that, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's all yours, and mm. you like, I signed for that. Like you, you signed for that. Mm -hmm. You signed mm -hmm. to just open up the cookie mm -hmm. jar and all them cookies in there yours. Uh huh. You know, so I just must say it does take it to the next level because I wish I could see Ashley rub her thighs. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> uncomfortable right now, babe. Like I, I just um yeah. Well, it's it, it's great. Like I'm I'm not liking in the sex area. Like. Sex is great. You know, like, life is great. Sex is great. Making love is great. It's, well, it's really I'm not good. married. I'm not married. Sex so is great. Sex is definitely great. <laughs> okay. <but. laughs> let me stop telling y'all about my sex life because, you know, these people be like, mm, well, let me see. And then Don't try. try. <laughs> so, okay. Oh, so, well. from my perspective, I can honestly say... At first, I was afraid. No, I was <laughs> petrified. Okay, no. <laughs> um, one thing I can say is that I do really look forward to being married and being intimate. And you shall be. And I know I shall be. Mm -hmm. And I think, I know that it would be different for me because I'm a very mental... If you really know about... So, this one, you know you mature in the sex game because at first, it's just about smashing and feeling. Yeah, no, you but want when that. you mature... You want that emotional is, level. It's like, mental I win. love this man. You know, I love this woman. I'm sorry. I'm just be taking over your No, part. no, no, but it's, it's you the one that should talk so I don't get judged so oh, bad. But y'all could judge her all y'all want to because all y'all out there doing it. I don't care. Or you I feeling don't it, care. even if you're not doing it. This is so true. it's good to, you know, have these moments of no. honesty and clarity well, about can, what you're doing. I can honestly say this whether people want to admit it or not. Um, the sex is different because I am in love. Like, right. And, um, and that had, changes yeah, the game. I've had an experience out of love and now I've had the experience. In love, and it definitely changes the game, and it puts a lot more pressure on you to want to be pleasing to your partner, and all of those things. Now, one thing I can say that I had to learn about sex is, yeah, because you know when you say <laughs> sex, if you do this here, sorry. <laughs> um, I, I think sex changes according to what you learn about yourself and experience and experience. Yes, yeah, the experience. I didn't know. What I knew now. Yeah. I didn't I didn't read. I didn't explore. Yeah, I read now. Yeah, because you want to be able to please your mate. Yeah. And a lot of times you have to know what this person is requiring. Yeah. And, what they're desiring. And and you should ask questions. And I talk to my friends or we talk openly now. And a lot of knowing what's on off limits and, and what's on them. Yeah. Now a lot of stuff we do not talk about because again, Asher is married and that is her her bedroom and all of those things. But when it comes to like having a little girl talk, we've had little sessions of right. us talking to each other about intimacy or even um, we have friends that are actually still virgins and right. we encourage them to not have sex. Don't do it yet. Don't. Yeah, because, yeah. you know, to be honest with you, it can, it can when, when you've had um, a intimate moments with people, whether it be sex or whatever, whatever you experience, mm -hmm. you know, with the touchiness or whatever, that's your experience. Yeah. So if somebody that's a virgin that's, you know, still striving for that or whatever, I don't think the best thing 
yeah. um, for them is to like tempt them with you with yeah, what, with you, what you do. Here's have a question though. If you could have, would you have lost your virginity to your husband now? If you could change oh, yeah. Your, yeah, I would have definitely I have for you. I, I mean I would in the blink of an eye. Yeah, I would I, I would have um yeah, I would have I, I would have wanted to yeah, because it, it, it's just you it's know the difference. Yeah. yeah. And I um I definitely know like it's a difference when you love the person because everything you want you want everything to be perfect yeah definitely. and those moments you want them to feel like they're wanted that they're needed yeah and um you know it's just not like you know with conversations or dating or whatever when you're intimate with that person mm-hmm. that you say that you love or you know even you know me being in a marriage it's like i want you to know that yeah, i desire you i want me, you yeah. to know that this this is something that is a part of our connection yeah. we're connect. You know, you connect in a lot of different ways yeah. in relationships, and it's that's a part of connecting. And it's a sacred thing. Yeah. One thing I can say about sex outside of marriage, especially reading, not only just like reading up on sex and the body and all of those things. If you're a spiritual person and you read about soul ties and what happens to you when you yeah, it's connect. It's a connection. Yeah, you definitely connect with you. A person. You're taking up whatever whatever that person has with yeah. them. You, you take it that on, so energy. You, have to, you gotta be careful who you lay down with. with. Yeah. You gotta check that person. And one thing I totally noticed that didn't shift until I got older in age is that the way that you are exposed to sex kind of maps out who you become yeah. in your sex and life. And let me just put this thing out there. You guys get tested. I don't care Please. if you've been with that person for 49 years. Get Go tested. get tested. Mm-hmm. I do not care. They talk about saliva. They talk about all different types of things. You know, disease can be contracted in a lot of and different a lot ways. Of now, a lot, the game has changed. They have upped the ante. You know, they put all type of stuff in food. They put all type Everything. of stuff in drinks. Please get encourage tested. your kids to get tested. Yeah. Encourage your grandmas need to still yeah. be getting tested because you just never know. And I think it needs to be something that as, a, as it needs to be a form a about form. talked about and not just te- but you know, like I just said, when you are exposed to sex, some people are exposed to sex later in life or different ways. Or in my case, um, I lost my virginity at eighteen. I lost my virginity. Talked to my mom, told my mom that I lost my virginity, but we had no other talks about it. And yeah, my I think, mom passed. I think, I think yeah. those people need, people need to talk people to their kids to. about it. Mm-hmm. And when it's too early, we, we'll talk about that in a, probably in another segment. Yeah. When to talk to your kids about but certain to, things. But to touch on it now, middle school is when you need to start. Yeah. With this generation. Because I'm, I'm starting to talk to my daughter about it. And it's so funny because at the end of the year, in mm-hmm. fifth grade, I think they were doing home, human growth and development. Yeah. But the classes we used to have or whatever. Yeah. So if your parents were not talking about it, it was like it was a test. School, yeah. It was in school. But um, she came home like with a paper for me to sign. Like, So, you know, that they're touching on it a little bit. But I think your, your kid, ultimately, anything that happens in regards to sex or something, you need, you need to, to know. You, you want to be a part of that, yeah. you know? And you want them to have an open door yeah. to come and talk to you about it because before street, it happens. Now, let me tell you the truth. The streets are teaching. Mm-hmm. Before, if your parents ain't sitting there talking to you, schooling you, or you're not schooling your child, I'm going to tell you something because they everything they I learned, learn. I learned They're from trial learn. and error. I had the talk of like, uh, nobody, the, the biggest talk I have, sorry mom and dad, the biggest talk I had was don't have sex. Nobody ever set me that's down. That's what we were told. Yeah, that's what we were It was, was like it. all of the things that you shouldn't do. But what could we do? Could we date? Could we hold hands? Yeah. Uh, is holding hands going to lead to me Just kissing him? Sex, or yeah. is, is uh, getting a massage going to lead to me? You know, my, my juices starting to flow. You know what's <laughs> up? You know, whatever. Well, you know, people are talking about, they don't talk to you about stimulating. You can be and stimulated in the Somebody can rub your hand. That's why. And we're built different. Men. Men and women are built different. Y'all can go outside and y'all think of a blow. Wind blow. We have God. to, because we're made in inward, outward, it takes a little longer for yes, us to, to be, be, you know. Simulated and but it's different for y'all. So we wonder why these men looking at somebody and you might look down and be like, hey, bro, mm-hmm. I need you to focus on the road. Yeah. Like, it's because of the way you guys are made. Now, that ain't giving y'all no free free game to go out and be cheating. Oh, I, I, I was just... Honestly, if I was being I'm a honest, man. 
that happens to women too. We just have different parts. You, you, you know, it's a, yeah, it's, 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 it's and it's hidden. And it's, it's hidden, hidden because of the way we are made. Yeah. You will never know what's going on with us, but we will know if it was something yeah, going on with you child. because it shows. So, so okay, so here's here's a real life question: When you once you lost your virginity, were you scared of sex? Because I lost my virginity and didn't have sex for two years. I was like, oh, oh no. no. I'm I honest. Like, uh uh-uh. uh. To be honest with you, when I lost my virginity, I wanted it all the time. You was just out here smashing? I mean, I wasn't doing it on a regular basis, but it was a little regular. <laughs> it was regular and irregular, but it was regular. It was more regular than irregular because then that's another thing. The youth be funny because it's like we know you having sex now because it shows. It it's, does. It's, you change. It changes. Listen, too. you really have to make sure you clean in yourself. Yeah. All of that. You smell it all. Yeah. It's like, girl, you having sex now. Nah, we know you having sex. The truth about it. we can say that when we're young, but I can always tell when some adults start getting. Oh, that's a dance show. When the adults <laughs> are here in these streets, you got to clean up and not clean up. up. But I no, up. but I'm not even talking about a scent. I'm just talking about y'all ever met a, like a really mean, like nasty lady, and then just like attitude, her nasty. aura, and then she, she gets her boyfriend and she come in the office. Hey. So all night, I'm like, uh, uh-uh. and you got look in theater. If you're in a show and you have sex the night before a show, you owe the whole cast donuts. We know you don't have sex because you coming out like, oh, it's a beautiful morning. Yeah, knowing that y'all got about 10 shows that we we know everybody ain't happy. Now, we be you, looking like, Mm-mm. why you bought them donuts in here? Because you was in there getting, getting it in, <laughs> getting, getting some. <laughs> Look, <laughs> for real, we want to talk about sex because it's such an awkward thing. I really think as a community, it should be an open discussion. Yeah, because we're should. doing it mm-hmm. on a regular basis. People are smashing. People are making love, having sex on a regular basis. So we need to talk about it regularly. Yeah. You know, and then we also need to to let people know that it is okay not to. It mm-hmm. is not something. Yeah. It's this, not this, some- this one is not about, uh, oh, girl, go out there and do the thing. No. It, it's about you knowing yourself, knowing your body, being honest. And being careful. And being careful. Being careful and knowing that. From the aspect of us playing about sex, if we were talking on a serious tip, knowing that giving yourself to somebody is very is valuable very and it's valuable sacred. Thing. You know, um, we can even go a little bit further. Listen, you want to have, you know, sex with somebody, you you think that you love them or you know that you love them, then you would say making love to mm-hmm. somebody. Make sure you and that person are on the same page so that it is... So that it is an experiment. I mean, experience. experience. Mm-hmm. A real ex, not an experiment, an but an experience. experience. Mm-hmm. I want. I want to have an experience with this person because I love them. Um, our souls are yeah. saying something to each other. Our spirits are united, not just because um I'm horny and I, I just want to yeah. get it in. And for those of you that are doing it like that, just please protect yourself because yeah. you just don't know what's out here in these streets. Or don't do it and that'll be an experience. Right. So some some just to yeah to um learn yourself and learn don't when you person. do do it when you when you do it it'll be like man, I waited for this. Yeah, I and it's a this. moment. Like wow. Or even if you've already started doing it and you're on the road to marriage and you make a decision, you know what? I Let's take some time be, off. Let's stop. I want to take. You know, I want to take and and get to know yourself. That's not to promote masturbation and all kind of stuff. But yeah. That's just saying know your body, know yourself. Stand there, look at yourself in the mirror. Psych get in touch up. with you. Yeah, and um, and then they'll be able to experience the wonderfulness. Of, of you, you, the confidence that you yeah. have in yourself and your body. Don't be ashamed if you uh, decide to have a new sex partner that you tell them, yo, I don't want you to touch me until we get tested. Yeah. Or I don't want you to touch yeah, me. Yeah, and see, people, y'all don't want to talk about that, but if you're going to be laying with somebody and doing these things, mm-hmm. if you're not afraid to do that, you should not be afraid to go and get tested yeah. with that person. You want to lay down, you want to smash, you want to do whatever. All right, let's ride out to the... Um, one of the testing yeah. sites. They got trucks all, all over. over. It's to places you can get tested all over. Yeah. And, and and really, this is my encouraging word for you. Um, not being married. And um, not, I'm not even talking about in my current relationship. I'm talking about something I learned as an adult. Um, having had experiences 
with the person and now I'm no longer attached to that person and how much of me that the person took with them because I decided to take the step into being intimate and all of those things and now you have to redo all of really, 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 really be sure. Know what you know before you even enter into that. Asher has a totally different story for me because she is in something that is covered and it is sacred and I my story is not the same um, when it has come to the experience that I has I have had um, because I'm not married and when you're tied to people like that you got to pray yourself out of that yeah. you have to detox yourself you have to walk away from stuff you have to leave stuff alone because one thing they don't teach you in sex education is that it opens the door to all kind of stuff you just you just want to do all kind of stuff you think about all kind of stuff right. I would encourage you if you are in a place in your life where you decide to be celibate or abs practicing abstinence or whatever you're doing to stay in that place and be sure about what you want to do this is from the the person that's not married stay in that place do what you got to do and and if you do choose to do that then you make sure you think hard of, about yourself because sex is a very powerful thing and it'll give a person a lot of control over you too yeah it's true it'll give you yeah, know what they, they think they have ownership then yeah and well, people solve like, oh, a lot of problems that. like that yeah, and it's like okay, I'm mad. Let's do this. Happens. Okay, I'm you 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 upset with me. We we don't have a little problem. Okay, that makeup sex thing. It's like you have to be sure that the that you're making up. No, no, it's not predicated upon me touching you. Yeah, it's like you really sorry. Let's talk about this yeah. before I want to lay back down in the bed with you because that that that's a it. it's a moment of pleasure. Yeah, you know, it. or moments of pleasure. How long you decide to go? Yeah. But that's not gonna fix it. It's yeah. really not. You know, uh, sex is like a liquor store. It's one on every corner. Mm -hmm. that, that's the truth. Like, unless you have a mature mentality or a view about the whole situation, you can get it from anywhere. Right. So, know what you know. Do what you do. Be safe. Um, don't let nobody shun you because the church mothers will shun you about having sex. With and them church mothers got about three or four kids, so they had to have sex. There was some, and they wasn't them. all married. And we, ain't, this ain't a shot at the church, but y'all got to be honest and open. That's you, you, you can't clean a fish. What do you say? You trying to clean the fish before you catch it? You, you get more bees with honey. Mm -hmm. You, you can't, you know, be shunning people and all of that kind of stuff. It's like. Oh, hear these people out. Why yeah. they doing this? Yeah. Why, why do they feel that they have to do this or they want to experience this or yeah. whatever? You have. Have, have an open so I, I We would encourage y'all today in your church, your community, your little girl. Talk your about group, it. Your homeboy. Sit down. It's something to talk about it because it's being done yeah. every minute of the day. And people are doing it wrong. And, it, and, 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 and that's another thing. A lot of people don't want to talk about it in marriage either. They don't want to talk about how you know, the lack of sex or too much of it mm -hmm. has killed marriage. You yeah. know, a lot of people are not having enough sex and they stressed out. You know, they already having problems financially and y'all ain't having enough sex. That's yeah. why y'all headed to divorce court. Y'all need to have some more sex. <laughs> I'm telling you. I'm telling you. In the books, they, they talk about how the energy, when you have sex, it, first of all, you're going to have to lose weight because you're going to put in some work. It's helping sex you lose weight. Good. Yeah, you've been losing some pounds, so I don't know. Uh, but it's <laughs> not true, Dad. Dad, it's not true, Dad. I'm a Christian. Look, I'm a Christian. <laughs> but let me let me say this. It helps. It, it say it helps you with your health. Mm -hmm. They um, you know, it, it increases your healthiness. It releases endorphins. And and um, so I've heard. If we don't talk about all the bad stuff, let's talk about some of the good stuff. I could be upset. I really and and this is not to say I'm having. Mad makeup sex, but I need some energy. I need a good way to start my day. Boom! Here we go. Here I, comes the boom. I hear that. Here comes the boom. Here comes the boom. <laughs> um, I hear that it relieves stress. Is it does. True? I could be stressed out. I have. I'm a mother of four. I need to be having my black, my backbone. <laughs> I, I heard that it clears your skin. Is that true? Mm, my skin is looking a little clear. Okay. okay. Well, thank Jesus. Praise God. Praise my man. Because, <laughs> we don't have to end this vlog. Cause the stuff we really want to say, y'all going to have to catch. Barely making it after dawn. <laughs> That's a new segment. Reloading. Barely making it. Reloading. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
he just wanted to come on here and have a little fun. This is episode number 12. This is number 12. Hey, guys. Thanks for sticking with us. Thank you. Stick in there. <laughs> Hold on. Why you keep saying stick? Because this <laughs> Pull out the stick. Because this episode about sex, she just <laughs> want to keep saying stick. <laughs> you know I don't want to say something. Now she, now she shy. <laughs> she just went over here talking about, I need my back blow out. By my husband. By, husband. by her husband, and as for me, Shout out to I'm going to just go on a walk, a brisk, <laughs> a brisk walk, walk because I'm, you know, I'm a good girl. We barely making it, honey, but we making it. We barely making it. We know it, what you be making. making. The babies. I should be making the babies. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny. All right, well, we love y'all. Love like, y'all. share, um, love comment, y'all. subscribe. We love y'all. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Barely making it. And, and hold on, if tonight. Y'all want to watch this vlog with Bae, right? Hey, Bae. As soon as it's done, set it up to the cut on the little tank. When, when we, we eat. Uh. <laughs> Bye, y'all. Bye.